Wisconsin Foodie would like to thank the following underwriters. I'm super excited for this next stop. We're going from Sheboygan all the way back to my side of the state, to La Crosse, to try one of my childhood favorites. The Pearl has long been an institution downtown. And quite frankly, I've actually been here in the middle of winter when it's below zero, and there's still a line out the door. It's that good. I couldn't possibly think of trying gelato or custard or ice cream in the state of Wisconsin and not including this iconic place in the mix. So, to La Crosse we go. My name is Asia Petersley and we are at the Pearl Ice Cream Parlor in La Crosse, Wisconsin. So we are an ice cream shop, candy store, and coffee house located right downtown. Uh, we make almost all of our ice cream that we have here homemade daily in the summertime, and then we have it set in this 1930s style candy store to try to take you back in time when you're visiting. And yeah, our philosophy is really just homemade makes the difference. Our ice cream is homemade pretty much daily. Uh, sometimes in the winter we'll go like every other day, but otherwise we have one or two ice cream makers in the back making ice cream, uh, sometimes 10 hour days in the summertime. We source our um, milk base, uh, which is cream, milk, sugar, from a Wisconsin cooperative. And uh, from there, we add pretty much any of the ingredients that we find that we think really resonates with the flavor we're going for or just what we think our customers would like. Uh, and a lot of the things we'll make homemade too. So if we're gonna add brownie pieces in, we'll bake the brownies here. Anything that involves cookies, like we are just like wholesome Wisconsin ice cream, like what you would expect. Yeah, we made it! High five, boom, here we go. Are you Hi. Asia? I am, yes, Luke. Yeah, this nice is- Nice to meet you. This is awesome, I'm so excited to be here. This <laughs> is the representation of ice cream in the entire state of Wisconsin. Because I grew up eating the pearl ice cream and still, even as an adult, I come in here and I'm always excited to be here. I wanted to show, specifically my man Ilya here, <laughs> the magic that happens at the Pearl downtown La Crosse. Well, you came to the right place. So you are in our ice cream parlor right now. Uh, we make all of our ice cream here every single day in the back of our kitchen. Uh, and then we bring it out here and this is where um, she's gonna scoop whatever you want um, for you to order. Uh, you can look at all the flavors. They're gonna be up in our menu up there. We have waffle cones, we have shakes, malts, sundaes, banana splits, or you can order it in like the cone she's making right now. And that would be our homemade waffle cone, and I would recommend that, so. Is that what that smell is? That is, that's the smell. Yep. It's magic. I wish I could actually like bottle this up mm -hmm. and take it with me, specifically like for the van as we get rolling around, and these guys actually are kind of smelly, <laughs> uh, to be able to like put that in there, that waffle cone smell, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, it doesn't get old, that's for sure. Great. All right, fellas, here we go. These are our options. So what kind of ice cream are you talking about like in Silas? Uh, snapping turtle. Snapping turtle, okay. And how about you, Ilya? Which one were you thinking? Blue moon. The blue moon. Which one do you oh. want to get? I'm gonna get the pearl vanilla, uh, because I think like, you know, vanilla, it seems like it's the baseline that all these places have in common. I wanna make sure that I taste it all from the same perspective. Sprinkled chocolate and snapping turtle. Sprinkled chocolate, snapping turtle. Okay. I'm gonna do a sprinkled chocolate waffle. Sprinkle chocolate waffle? Only if I get those beatboxing hands in there. Sprinkle chocolate waffle, sprinkle chocolate waffle. I think we're up. Oh, I think we're up? All right. May I have a sprinkle waffle cone uh, and blue moon? Can I please get a scoop of turtle? And can I get it in a sprinkle waffle cone? Thank you. I think I would like a, a single scoop of vanilla in just a homemade waffle cone. I have the feeling that we're, we're watching a master at work here. Hey -oh. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> that is awesome! Here's the blue moon in the sprinkle waffle cone. Yeah! There you go. Thank you! Oh my gosh. 
Hell yeah! Thank you. You're welcome. Have you ever had a customer ask to try and throw their own cone? I, I've had them try, but I always say no. Really? Could I try? Oh my gosh. Sure. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. You're a pretty special. Oh man, I feel like I'm, I'm like in the special sanctuary of ice cream right here. Okay, and now I'm looking for vanilla. All right, yep, we got a clean scoop. Make sure not to hit the light. You all ready? Yeah, then just flick your wrist. Oh! oh yeah! Right? Thank you so much, sister. This was so yeah. awesome. Have a great day. Yeah. All right. Over to the bench. Ilya, talk to me about this blue moon. What are you tasting? I'm tasting like a little bit of blue raspberry and like a little bit of vanilla, like a mixture almost. Yeah? It tastes like almost like a classic blue moon. Classic blue moon. Yeah, I dig it. It's really good. You know what an actual blue moon is? It's two, two full moons in one month which means that it's extremely rare. And I think that that flavor is also kind of extremely rare. You only find that in the Midwest, which is a cool little fun fact. Silas, how's your, uh, how's your turtle, snapping turtle? It's snapping me right now. That's how good it is. <laughs> it's snapping you right now? What kind of flavors do you have going on in there? Um, caramel and chocolate. Mm-hmm. You know, crunchy. Crunchy? You know, one of the things that I love about vanilla is it's a really simple flavor profile, but it's not. It's got layers of complexity. And this one, actually, one of the things I adore about it is it's not overly sweet. Sometimes vanillas can be so sickly sweet, but this has really nice balance and depth, which makes it delicious. It's a pretty good gig, right? Mm-hmm. Driving around the state, eating ice cream, gelato, and custard. Mm-hmm. Coming back to this place, it's like revisiting a magical part of my childhood. And to be able to share it with one of my kids and my buddy Ilya here, man, that's through the roof. After this, should we jump back in the van and drive across the state again? I got one more stop that I wanna make. And this place is like the hall of fame of custard in the state of Wisconsin. What do you think? Are you up for it? Yeah. One more cone? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. All right, let's do it. Here we go.